Hello wonderful Repton learners. I hope you're having a great time doing your learning at home with your family. You may not know me, my name is Miss Robinson and I teach reception class Wales. And one thing you will learn about me is that I love to draw. So today I'm going to teach you how to draw some sea creatures. You can pause the video at any time you like to draw along with me. Let's get started. I'm going to start my filming by drawing a seabed along the bottom here. And the first creature I'm going to draw is the starfish. When I draw my starfish, I can make the ends a bit rounded and it doesn't matter if they're not even. Then I'm going to draw the little circles. These are the little suction parts of the starfish that help it stick to different things in the ocean. And I'm also going to add some eyes when I draw it too, just for fun. And a face. You can draw with many different things. I like to start my drawings first with a pencil because if I make any mistakes then I can just rub it out and then keep going. Next I'm going to draw When the I make my crab, I do it near the bottom because it crawls along the seabed. I for the bottom part of the face I need to make a semicircle and then I make these two bumps here that's where I'm going to draw the eyes. I like to draw my eyes like this. When I draw my eyes, I do two of these shapes. Then I do another one on the inside. And when I shade it in, I leave a little gap for the pupil. See, there's a little white hole there. Then I'm going to give him a smile. Now I need to draw the arms the, and legs. The first ones at the top are the biggest ones and they are the ones that have got the pinches at the top. These are the ones that help them grab things. The next one I'm going to do as well, same thing on both sides. The other ones are facing down and they're a bit smaller and there are three more of them. And each of those have three parts. Here is my crab. Next of all, I'm going to draw a fish. I'm going to draw an angel fish just like the um, one from Finding Nemo. To do this, I make the shape at the top and along the bottom, but I leave these gaps here. This one is for the fin and this one is for the mouth. And I make two shapes like that, join them together and it makes the lips for me. I do some lines in here and then a little thin in here. For the eyes, I do one circle and then a circle on the inside. And the body has got some different kind of striped, uh, stripes, wavy stripes around it. I also like to draw some bubbles there because this is my fish is breathing under the water. Now I have drawn my starfish, crab, and angelfish. Next, I'm going to draw a jellyfish. For the jellyfish, I draw it a rainbow shape like this, and the bottom part of the face goes a bit like this. I'm again going to draw some eyes for my jellyfish. I do my outline. Then I do the next rainbow shape inside. And remember when you color inside, you leave a little gap so that for the pupils. Next, you can do a little smile and actually I'm going to give my jellyfish some eyebrows. Next of all, I make this kind of shape around the bottom of its face and then I can make all of the bits that go underneath. You can make as many of these as you like. You can make them wavy shapes. You can make them curl at the bottom if you like. It's up to you how you make them. You can keep going, keep going until you get all the way to the end. I like to make some of them a bit curled. Okay, 
So now I have finished my jellyfish. Next of all, I'm going to draw another kind of fish and this is just a regular fish here. This is the shape that I make. I leave a tiny little gap here, but I close this one here. This is where the mouth will be. And I do the outline and then a circle on the inside as well. Remember the same, same technique. When I color it in, I leave a little gap for the pupil. I do a fin at the top. I can do a little fin at the bottom. And then the tail is two more of this shape, but on an angle. You can do whatever kind of pattern you want on it. I'm going to make it spotty, but you can make it spotty, stripy, zigzags, whatever kind of pattern you like. Again, I might draw some breathing bubbles there. Next of all, I'm going to make an octopus. Now I'm going to draw the octopus's head is like almost like a closed circle, but it's not quite closed. And I'm going to make the mouth like this. This part here is the middle of the mouth. And this is where it can breathe. My eyes, I'm going to do that same technique, circles, then circles inside. And then when I color it, leaving that gap for the pupil, that little white gap that I don't color in. Next, I need to draw the tentacles and the octopus has got eight of them. So I need to make sure I count carefully when I am drawing them. You can have them go any direction you like because it's your drawing you can make it exactly how you want it to be one two three four five six seven eight you can also put some lines on the sides where you draw those circles that are the suction parts of the tentacles just like on the starfish you can do it for some of them you can do it for all it's up to you i'm just going to do it for some of them this is how the octopus grabs its prey and this is how the octopus sticks to different things in the ocean the last sea creature i'm going to draw is a shark and i've left a nice big space over here to draw it to start with the nose of the shark i make this kind of shape. I stop here and I make this part for the mouth. I keep going a little bit and then I leave a gap. This is where I will draw one of the fins and again it's that same kind of shape, a little bit curved at the end. Then I keep going all the way towards the tail where it gets smaller but it doesn't quite close. When I get to the end there I will do the tail, which again is the same kind of shapes. The one at the top is bigger than the one down the bottom. Then I will draw the lines for the gills where the shark can breathe, a little hole for the nostril, and then of course the fin, and I can draw some little triangles on the top and bottom. Last but not least, I can draw the eyes. I'm going to draw a little eyebrow for this and I'm going to have the sharp point pointing in towards the nose. If you do that, it makes it look a little bit scarier. You can do that when you are drawing other characters as well. For example, if I am drawing my octopus and I want him to be a bit angry or scary, I can make his eyebrows point in as well and see how it changes his face. <laughs> Last but not least, I need to make sure I've drawn those sharp teeth. There he is. Now I have drawn a starfish, a crab, angelfish, a jellyfish, another fish, an octopus and a shark. What you can do at the end is you can add some things like some coral. You can just do squiggly lines. You can branch off different points. 
you can make them all different heights and you can make them wherever you like along the seabed. <laughs> You can also draw some plants if you want. If you find that they're in the way of something, you just stop when you get to that point and then you go behind it and then it looks like it's in the background. If you want to add some bubbles for breathing, you can. If you want to add any other kind of fish, you can. If you want to add some rocks or anything else on the seabed, sea snails, anything you'd like, you can, and then you can color it in and make it your own. Well done, I hope that you had a great time drawing with me. I know I had so much fun. I will be back again with you soon to teach you something new to draw. See you later.